Hello! In this short video I want to walk through uh, what has been released in the 0 0.7.0 release of uh, Chocolate Central Management. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, so on the release notes you'll see that there's a mention of a couple of breaking changes. Uh, now I want to talk about them first of all. Um, now they're not breaking changes in, in the strictest of sense. Um, there's no breaking functionality. Uh, all the functionality of CCM that existed before 070 uh, is all still there. It's just that we've made some modifications to uh, either the user interface that's associated uh, with those uh, settings, for example, the LDAP and SMTP passwords, or uh, a new workflow that's put in place uh, to provide enhanced security for the uh, storage of uh, sensitive information within CCM. So what I mean by that is, if I uh, go over to here, so this is my running instance of uh, Chocolate Central Management 0.7.0. Uh, now, what you'll notice straight away is that there's this new banner uh, up at the top here. As soon as, you, uh, once you, as soon as you've got it installed, as soon as you attempt to log in, you will see this banner. And what this banner is saying is additional settings need to be configured by the administrator. Please contact your local administrator or log this administrator to change your settings. So what we're trying to show here is that there's something that needs to be done by someone who is an administrator of Chocolate Central Management, and it needs to be done quite quickly, uh, ideally, um, uh, straight away, uh, but there is a little bit of uh, leeway in terms of when that settings have to be applied by. So what I mean by that is, if I log in here as myself, so I my user is not uh, an administrator of this instance of Chocolate Central Management. So I, as a user here, I can log in, I can see things uh, as I normally would, but I do have this additional banner that's saying, please reach out to an administrator. But with aside from this banner, uh, my usage of CCM is not impacted. However, if I log in as someone who does have administrator access on this machine, then rather than going into the, the dashboard page, which is where you would normally go, I have been redirected immediately to the settings page. Now I scroll down just a bit, then there is this section down at the bottom about encryption settings. Um, now what we're saying here is that we need you to provide uh, a passphrase that will then be used for securing all of the sensitive parameters that um, CCM stores in the database. Uh, we're, we're doing this for uh, enhanced security of those um, settings, uh, but what we do need to make very clear at this point is that we need you to remember what this passphrase is. If at any point you lose this passphrase, um, we won't be able to recover uh, those settings uh, and they will need to be deleted and reset. Um, so uh, if you're using a password manager of some description, then we'd encourage you to uh, set that passphrase in that uh, uh, password manager and then put it into here. So what I'm trying to illustrate here is that as a CCM admin uh, user, I was directed this page to this page immediately in order to make that change. However, in this kind of uh, grace period, for want of a better word, once you're logged in, I can still go back and do other stuff that I need to do. However, if I come down here and I log out and I log in as that administrator user again, then again, I'm gonna be taken to that uh, settings page and it's still saying you need to do something. But eventually, uh, if I do it enough times, uh, so let's go, I'm trying to remember how many times I've now logged in before I came on to this recording. Uh, so I think this is my fourth one. So at this point, I'm still uh, able to uh, not do the change right now. I can still navigate around and do what I need to do. But once I get to the fifth attempt, and I believe I'm now on that attempt just now, uh, then at that point, it's now saying Chocolate Central Management requires a new passphrase to be provided uh, and that you need uh, that will be used to encrypt sensitive variable. So at this point, that yellow banner has now gone to a red banner and you need to set this. So at this point, if you get to this point in Chocolate Central Management, then any attempt to navigate to one of those other pages will immediately bring you back to here because we, we we want you, we want your CCM system to be as secure as possible. So we want you to put this passphrase in. So at this point, uh, you do need to provide it a reasonably uh, complex password. Uh, so there are settings in here in terms of uh, a capital letter, uh, a, a number, uh, a special character, etc., minimum length. But once you've set all of those things, what it will do, uh, I'm gonna hit save all at this point. It'll say settings have been uh, updated. 
And at that point, uh, that uh, yellow banner and that red banner have now been replaced by, well, if you need to update that passphrase with something else, uh, and then you can do it here. Um, now, now that we've done that, if I log back out again, that yellow banner that was on the home page isn't there. And if I go back in as my own user on this CCM instance, then that banner is obviously not going to be there because that default passphrase has now been set. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so that change is all to do with uh, making sure that the storage of those uh, encrypted values in the database are is as secure as possible uh, and using a, a passphrase that uh, is of your own choosing and you, you can update it and change it as you need to. The other breaking change was in regard to um, the user interface for the LDAP and the SMTP password. So what I'm referring to here is if we go into the settings page again, and we go over to uh, the email tab. If I scroll down here and say, don't use the default settings, then previously in this uh, interface, there was just a text field where you could input the password. Uh, and on navigating to this page, that password was actually here, but I mean, it would have been in, um, uh, it would have been shown as asterisks, uh, but you in th because of the way that that password was being shown onto the page, um, it was you could inspect it via uh, developer tools in something like Chrome, um, and that was highlighted and pointed out by one of our customers that that was a uh, not the way that we should be doing things. So what we've done instead is that if you need to sit update uh, the SMTP password, then you can put it into some modal here. So you put in the username and password here. Uh, we'll obviously make sure that you type in the username and password correctly. Uh, so we're no longer uh, putting that password onto the page. Uh, it's only, you can only update it now uh, uh, rather than what you were able to do before. So that happens both for the SMTP password. And if we go up over into user management, for uh, setting up LDAP, then it's the exact same thing here where you can update uh, the LDAP password. So it's a breaking change in the sense that we've moved things around in terms of the user interface. So that's technically why it's a breaking change. Uh, if I come back to the release notes, uh, there's a couple of other things I just wanted to uh, go over. Uh, enhancements, we've added the ability to add sensitive variables into advanced PowerShell uh, deployments. So what this is referring to is if I go over and create a deployment, and I go over to create a deployment here. Then if I say add step and then uh, add advanced, what we'll see over here is there's a new drop down list here, which is sensitive variables. So let's imagine that you're trying to do something like Choco upgrade, uh, which is called Bob, the package called Bob. And let's say you wanted to pass in something that was package parameters sensitive. So, before uh, 070, you would have had to type in here a uh, super secret password. So there was, what that meant was that that super secret password was stored in this interface. Uh, it would have been stored uh, and visible to anyone who had accessed the deployments. Uh, and that password would have ultimately made its way through into the log files as well. So we, we wanted to avoid that. So what we're providing now is this concept of a sensitive variables. So you can use this, uh, these are, you can set these at the global level within uh, Chocolate Central Management. So what we can do here is if I click on this, then in here I could put uh, super secret password. So that's my variable name. And then in here I could put, that's my, that's my super secret password that I want to store. So obviously that's not going to be visible to the end user. So when I come down here, rather than putting in a super secret password, I can then choose the variable, the tokenized variable that is the super secret password. Uh, so what that means is that that value is stored securely in the CCM database. And then at the point where this deployment step would be sent to a chocolate agent machine, that uh, value will be decrypted, uh, sent over to uh, the chocolate agent and executed at that point. So now at no point within the CCM user interface, uh, in this example, uh, would that variable be visible to anyone uh, uh, at, at any point. So it's just making that deployment steps, uh, the advanced deployment steps, uh, more secure than they, they were previously. 
So I can add new variables uh, through this interface, uh, but I can also go via the administration console where I can say uh, sensitive variables. So at this point, I have the option of doing the same thing, adding a new variable, uh, but through this interface, I've also got the option of deleting a variable. Now, there's some uh, nuances in terms of uh, uh, how those variables are used. So if, for example, you were to create a deployment, maybe a scheduled deployment and use a variable, uh, if someone or uh, someone on the team deletes that variable, then at the point in time where it attempts to uh, send that deployment to the chocolate agent, that will fail because uh, that variable no longer exists in the system. So there are some nuances, um, but uh, we have provided some documentation around this on the site as well. So I'd encourage you to go and take a look at this. Uh, hopefully this uh, will be of use to you. Uh, if not, uh, let us know, uh, or if there's anything that you think can be done differently, again, let us know as well. We would love to hear from you. Uh, so just to finish out the, uh, the release notes, uh, there was one minor change, which was to hide some uh, Ed points from the Swagger documentation. Uh, I'll show that in just a second. And then we also updated a J the jQuery dependency. So the CCM website takes a dependency on jQuery. Uh, so we've bumped that to a newer version. Uh, so we just call that out just in case there are any uh, s small nuances or small changes on the website. During our testing, we haven't seen any, uh, but um, jQuery goes across the entire site. So if there is anything uh, that you notice, uh, feel free to reach out. And the bug fix here was regarding the usage of those uh, package parameter sensitive uh, options. Because um, there was an edge case where the package parameter sensitive option was not correctly um, being obscured in the system. So again, I want to stress now that uh, for those uh, usages of uh, package parameter sensitive within uh, deployment scripts, uh, they are now completely obscured across the entire system. Uh, so the last one I want to show was uh, if I go to this API and I say open a new tab, then through this user interface um, and obviously uh, through the Swagger doc that can be used uh, through other tools as well, there were a couple of endpoints that were uh, shown that actually aren't currently, you, you can't use them within CCM as they currently stand. So if I drill down, down to the bottom, that was the last one within the Swagger doc, I believe, if I could recall correctly. So let's just go th down through them all. So there was a uh, web tokens endpoint, I think. Uh, that wasn't actually being used at all in the current implementation of CCM. Uh, so to avoid any ambiguity, I realize now that you can't see the last one that was on the list. Uh, the, to avoid any ambiguity, uh, we've simply removed them from the Swagger doc. Uh, so they're no longer um, visible in this interface and obviously not visible within uh, the Swagger doc that's generated uh, through tooling as well. Uh, hopefully this has been useful. Uh, if you've got any questions about any of this, feel free to reach out. Uh, but if not, uh, for now, thank you very much.